Hey guys, Matt here. Um, I have a few topics to discuss. Um, right off the bat, my PVR might be broken. Uh, I keep on trying to record the audio on it, but uh, for some reason, audio is not actually recording. Um, yeah, uh, I actually got a. I think it's a six-man kill streak. Uh, in assistance zones using the knife only, and. It was in 12 seconds, so I think that's a really nice streak, but uh, it has no audio to it. So tell me you guys want me to upload that still or not. Um, it's pretty cool to me, but I mean, without the audio, it's kind of ruined. So I really can't say much about that. Um, well, my next topic, tomorrow is my birthday, and this will be pretty beneficial to you guys. So, I mean, by that, I mean, like, I'll be succeeding, I'll be able to apply to a job. Um, be, where I live, I'm already able to apply for a job, but it, most stores, they are able to set their age, and most of them, you, they require you to be 16 or older. Um, I know the GameStop where I, where they are near me, I yet to be 17 and have straight A's. So, I mean, that, that's academic and that. So, I mean, really. Um, it's not a sample, though. But, still. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, next topic, Black Ops. Uh, yeah. Really not the game for me. Um, I just don't like the game, to be honest. I find more flaws in this game than there are in Modern Warfare 2. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are more flaws in my offer too, but they're not as aggravating as the flaws in this game, because the flaws in this game are part of the game. They're not a hack, they're not, not, they're not anything like that. They're not exploit either, it's just the way the game is built. Um, I think you guys know what I mean by that. The knifing, the lag, j just pretty much everything about this game is just aggravating to such an extreme that for me I think I really have reached my limit on this game and to be frank to Treyarch games um, well at least they're called duty branch branches of games um, I don't know how else to explain it uh, let me start off with connection uh, connection any game I will ever be in. I have a four bar connection. Yet. In Treyarch's games. I always have a three bar connection. But in Treyarch games. Three bar is pretty much like the equivalent to a one bar. In Infinity War games. Or for that matter. Just about any other developer's games. Um. So, I mean, the lag, I mean, that's been a problem to everyone, but I think it's apparent by now that they choose the worst possible hosts there are. They, I don't, I understand it from a, uh, a game designer's standpoint, it's very hard to do it, um, but to be honest, they have been extremely lazy with this game. I mean, post-production... They've patched quite a bit of things that I'm happy about, but they, they're they not good patches. Everyone's applauding them for patching stuff, which I agree with. They should be applauded, but not if they slack off on them. I mean, the audio. I don't know how you can wreck audio at this time. Like... I don't know, at this age, especially with Call of Duty standards, they wrecked the audio. Um, I don't know how, but they managed to do that. I, it boggles my mind. Um, graphically, this game is inferior uh, to, I think, even Modern Warfare, I, I, to, I think, even Call of Duty 4. Um, this is, without a doubt, a very, very ugly game. Um, well, not ugly, but a step down. And I don't really like their approach to things, to be honest. 
Um, nothing I could take as realistic in this game. I mean, nothing looks realistic. Um, they really do a terrible job on trying to show auth <laughs> authenticity when it comes to objects and stuff like that. I mean, they could probably make a spoon look like a straw, uh, to be honest. But, whatever. Um, so the graphics are inferior. The lag is also inferior. Um, in terms of gameplay, it's without the campiest game, uh, campiest Call of Duty to date. And there is zero help to the rushers whatsoever. Um, if it wasn't for the equipment slot, things would be a lot better. Um, while a few things were good ideas, I mean, having noticed that all the equipment, none of it can be used in a tactical way, to be honest. I mean, somewhat with the motion sensor, you're able to run up, plant it, see what's around you, then take it back up. But in that amount of time you put it down and up, a guy could already have hot tail with it out of there. So, I mean, I don't understand their point of view with that, but I don't understand how that's supposed to increase Russian, because I mean, honestly, they haven't, um, with that, also comes the lag, um, obviously, a defensive player is gonna have the benefit from the lag, uh, is not gonna be hindered by the lag when they're playing, if they're just camping in the back shooting pot shots at you, uh, taking pot shots at you, when you're a rusher, you need spot-on connection and do good hitboxes, which neither of these are given um really none of them happen uh the weapons uh, i've yet to see the true balance that everyone seems to be talking about i, I find it funny that everyone has to talk about balance when it's obvious the three dominant weapons of the game by now are the famas the ak-74u and the g-11 um Every other weapon compared to it is inferior in every single way. I mean, if you want a submachine gun, FAMAS. If you want a sniper, FAMAS. If you want just about anything, FAMAS. Uh, AK 74 you. the people that say it's underpowered, uh, well, the people that say it's not overpowered are the ones who are using it constantly and have it relatively not used against them. I take it from a guy, I use the AK-74 quite a lot, and I will sure say it is very overpowered for a submachine gun. Uh, a uh, submachine gun should not take over the role of an assault rifle. Um, it really is this game's version of the ump. And what people say, well, you can't take three, four shots, you can't take three, four shots and kill someone across them. Of course you can't. It's Black Ops. Uh, no gun you really can. Uh, the closest gun to that is with Hamas, but even that, um, it, you, you can't. So, I mean, it's the ump with recoil. So, you can't compare it to that sense. Uh, in this game's version, it, you really cannot compare it. It's the same thing, just with a different skin. Um, and, I mean, if you deny that, I mean, obviously, you are one of the users of it. Um, now, Ghost. Well, everyone says, well... I rush, I rush. No, you don't. Most, nine times out of ten, you're camping in a corner. To me, Ghost should always be a second perk. Because that enables you to have to choose not between getting an extra kill streak or, like, you know, taking an explosion. Instead of that, you have to make a choice between being able to reload faster, being able to shoot through walls more effectively. Things that help you get the kill quicker. Not the things that enable you to get to the next kill streak or something like that there's no balance to that there's no counter to it um they say blackbird well no because that's eight kills when you have that zero kills so i mean that's not a counter um when they when they say well uav is only two kill a hardline understandable but there is a counter to that counter uav if you want to be a counter blackbird Counter UAV. That's simple. Um. Now, 
with the knifing. Um, really? Just there are people who, to this day, will stand by the knifing, which I don't understand how. But whatever. I mean, the knifing just speaks for itself. Couple with the lag. Oh my god. Um, now spawn system. I really thought you could not get worse than my own for two. Um, hello. There is Black Ops, where I could be shooting someone right in front of me, and they will spawn right in front of me, right in front of me, right in front of me, right, in front of me, right back at me and kill me. What the hell? I, I don't know. This game spawns are... I... They're unthinkably bad, to be honest. Um, I... I wish to have a... A reference to a game that has worse spawns, but... To my knowledge, I have yet to play one um hopefully one day i will or not but um horrible horrible spawns to be honest um so yeah uh well this is there um i'm really gonna have to get a big filler for this thing because this is running off um god uh kill streets there it really the kill streets are okay Chop gun needs to be toned down and everything. Um, I think what they're doing with the rest of the squares would be uh, pretty good. I, uh, you see that working out pretty good. So I well, hopefully they hold true with that. Um, but I will have my hopes set up high that it'll actually work out that way. Um, but whatever. Um, I don't know. I, I really do think I'm done with this game, to be honest. Um, Hopefully, bat, <laughs> off to bigger and better things with uh, Bad Company and Call of Duty 4. So, it's best to see a lot more of that. Um, I don't know. I think in the community as a whole, you're seeing a whole bunch more of that. The only people that are defending this game so far, they say it's the best game ever. But there's no reason to say that. They don't even have a reason to say that. They. I think that they are confusing. The fact that it's a new game to the fact that they think it's the best game ever. Now, everyone probably gets that, I don't know, uh, that video game under the Christmas tree that thinks it'll be the best game ever. And they think it is for the first week. Then, the next week, all of a sudden, there are hacks and everything around, and now all of a sudden, people are hating it. Um, it really is only a matter of time before the new Javelin glitch or. The new, I mean, to be honest, I can't even say. Uh, it comes out. It. It's only a matter of time. Uh, the fact that they managed to take a lazy route and just use a updated version of the Cold 3 Five engine. Um, that should speak for itself. Uh, cause that has already been proven to be hacked, even if it is extensively modified. At this point with the Call of Duty series, you need software, a new engine, not just modify the old one. So the old one's already hackable, no matter what you do to it, the basic code will be the same. So, from the basic code, you will be able to hack further on and further on. Whether or not they fall and take advantage of it, or the developer actually, takes uh, actually tries to put an initiative to end it quick enough, it's hard to say. Because you don't know about... The CEOs start getting, uh, CEOs of Activision start, uh, firing Treyarch employees when they didn't win Infinity Ward. So it's hard to say the future. Um, but for me, the future is bleak, so I'm choosing to not play the game. And at this point, I don't think it's a rash, a, a rash decision. Um, it's just finally comes to fruition that I have to just put the game down. Uh, I'll play it once in a while, but, uh, I don't know. But, anyway, guys, I've been bored you way too long already. 1420. Boy, anyway, guys, peace out.